Hello everybody, this is Matt Cat Spear, and I just wanted to uh, upload a video to talk to you guys about um, what I call uh, psychokinesis hygiene. And what I mean by that is that I know I talk to you guys about, um, you know, um, carrying your successes with you and all that stuff. And, it, and basically what it is that that's just a little advice for the people that just don't have time to really involve themselves 100% in the practice of psychokinesis. And that's just for like uh, like the, the half-ass kind of people that are kind of like off and on about it. But the thing is though is that we need to practice proper psychokinesis hygiene. And what I mean by that is that here's a good example. When you want to become a bodybuilder, you have to um, you have to understand that you need to have a proper um, uh, a proper regimen of, of 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 a certain workout planned out every day. Like you need to have a proper uh, a uh, certain schematic or a blueprint of, uh, or an idea of how you want to work out like you you work you wake up in the morning you eat right like eating right is something you have to do with psychokinesis you can't be smoking or drinking you know and with the psychokinesis and um, with working out they're both similar you, you know you wake up you you, you do some push-ups 200 200 push-ups 20 push-ups and then you rest and then you go into the abs and then you rest and you go into the biceps and the chest and the wings and, 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 and you do that every day, you run and everything. And every day you do that regimen of that of that, that plan, you plan it out of what you're trying to do in order to build your body. And with psychokinesis, they, it, it, the weightlifters, it becomes their life. In order for you to really sculpt your body, you need to make it a part of who you are. And psychokinesis, you need to make it a part of who you are. You need, you need to have a certain plan a certain regimen that you have to follow just like weightlifting and with psychokinesis it needs to be a part of who you are it can't just be like something that's just a half-assed thing and and um you need to have a proper regimen and the only thing that i could think of is watching youtube when you watch youtube there's people teaching all types of techniques and certain things to eat like with, with the with with the on trevor seven tells you and what i tell you you need to take heed of all the information that you take because that's the only way that you can learn is from youtube it's quick and fast you might as well just uh, take it seriously and create your own personal regimen so that you wake up in the morning you know you do a, a, you, you try to do a little bit of a, 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 i'm just throwing it out there but some chi energy exercises breathing and breathing out like how i told you you know with my other videos um you know and then you spend uh, five or ten minutes doing that and then you, you rest and then you work on the side wheels for five or ten minutes then you rest and then you try to um you know and, and also too when you're a beginner stick with one thing you know, that's just a little thing I want to add. Stick with one object so that you don't become overwhelmed. You know, if you want to roll a can, stick with that. You know, if you want to, if you want to knock over a piece of paper, stick with it. Don't bounce around too much because you can get yourself frustrated. And you need to, you need to stick with it and put that inside your regimen of what you do every day. You know, you need to have that that regimen properly balanced for yourself. You need to construct a regimen that's properly constructed for your lifestyle. You know, you need to devote yourself and what makes you feel good and how you develop yourself. And um, and and you need to do that every day. It needs to be a part of who you are. You need to believe in what you're doing. You and and you need to be proud and excited and involved whenever you get uh, whenever you get some movements going. You need to believe that those movements are a part of you and you did it. Um, if you don't believe in what you're doing, then you're not going to uh, excel at it. And psychonesis is a very temperamental very particular thing because it's so new it's old but it's so new because the human race has never done any um uh, you know as long as i've been alive since the past hundred years or even more further back or whatever um the western and uh, the, the human race has never written real proper books or made videos you know that came on you know on the discovery channel or you know even the chi masters and, and whatever they've never described or taught it to the masses, you know, as, as if it was a normal, regular, real thing, you know, um, the, 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 the China and the Asia, they all, they, they've had that before, but they never really shared it, you know, like they've been doing it and it's been real, they know it's real, they see people doing it, but they never really shared it, so, like, it's just a temperamental, uh, 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 trivial, kind of trivial thing a little bit, because we need to believe in what we're doing, it's the whole new thing, and, and you need to have a, uh, uh, it needs to be a part of your daily life, you need to have a regimen, and you need to properly, um, exercise your psychonesis hygiene. You, that's what hygiene is. Is like when you want to work out, like I said about working out, you need to have proper um, fitness hygiene. 
where you wake up in the morning, you have a regimen, you, you follow a certain rule, for, for a certain list of things that you do every day, and that's proper hygiene, psychonesis hygiene, just like regular hygiene. You brush, you wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth, you comb your hair, you take a shower. Every day you do that. That's hygiene, body hygiene. But you have to have psychonesis hygiene where you follow a certain regimen and concept of ideas and, and exercise that you do so that you can excel at it. And we need to have proper psychonesis hygiene. And, and and we also need a school or something, you know, um, so so that we can, you know, like when you go to school, when kids go to school, they go to school and they learn about mathematics and reading and writing. And the reason why they get involved and so deeply excited about it, and they don't get excited about it, but they get involved and they learn. The reason why they learn is because there's a group of people that they're around. And those group of people, psychologically and subconsciously, they feel involved and they feel enthralled. Because they're socializing, they're talking, they're connecting. They believe in what they're doing. You know, it's just like by default because there's people around them and they feel uh, engaged, emotionally engaged with the, the people that are around them. It makes them believe that, you know, eventually that, oh, well, you know, if I learn math, I could become, you know, I could uh, become a chemist or something like that or, or a mathematician. Or, or I could write some books, learn to read and write, you know, write my own stories. And, 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 and you know, we need to have something where, like, there's a, a, a collection of people together where they teach and learn off of each other so that we can all learn and develop our, our psychonesis better, like an like a institution or something like that. And, and that's the thing is that we need to have proper psychonesis hygiene for your own personal self, you know. And um, I was just thinking about this, too, you know, like, like, you know, like, I need to work on developing my own hygiene. Because it's because psychonesis is no thing. I need to work on my own hygiene. We all need to work on our own psychonesis hygiene. Trevor Seven has his own psychonesis hygiene, you know, spiritual hygiene. And we all need to, you know, develop something that works for us, that works for you. And it's kind of like, you know, um, the other thing example is like when you go on vacation, when you go on vacation to like a log cabin, when you go on vacation in a log cabin, um, you're there to relax. For a week, you know, you need to spend at least a whole week, for an example, just like in a log cabin, you go on vacation, you spend a week doing nothing. You're dedicated to doing nothing. But in just an example as a metaphor, um, just, you know, like for a week, you need to spend the whole week thinking of nothing but psychokinesis, developing chi energy, doing chi energy exercises, moving the side wheel, sticking to one object, and spending a whole one damn week sleeping and eating and breathing psychokinesis. Like it needs to be a part of who you are. And doing and, and 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 within a whole week, you're following you're following a psychonesis hygiene, a certain regimen, just like working out. You wake up, you do it, and it becomes a part of who you are. You have you have your certain structure there, you know, and you become involved in it. And and we need to have that where you're just. But unlike just a week, which is not enough, you need it needs to be a part of your life. It needs to be a part of you. It, it, it needs to be a part of how you change yourself. You know, it's like your health. You know, like when, when when you have cancer, you need to change how you eat and sleep so you can get that, you get yourself more healthier to try to find ways to fight against it, you know. So, like, it's just like, um, that's what my idea is, and I want you guys to kind of take heed on it. Create your own psychonesis hygiene, and it's just like working out, you know, like, I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. But, like, you know, we all need to work on our own psychonesis hygiene. Hopefully someone will make a book. Hopefully there will be an institution of psychonesis. And we'll have coaches and, and teachers teaching us it. But for now, we have to become our own teacher and we have to become our own student all in one to do it. And um, this is my Mad Cat Sphere. I just want to give that advice to you guys. Thank you guys for watching.